so we're in at Van Steel and um, we're just going to be taking a look at how to create uh, a special part that is relative to be used within the Great Tech railing macro and in particular to be a, a glass clamp uh, for the infill type panels. Uh, so a couple of things before we start, obviously you need to have a source file, you need to have a 3D source file. Um, typically if this was uh, myself I would make sure that my file was stored under program data obviously you might need to activate that to see that uh, but under Autodesk advanced steel and obviously the, the year version that you're using the country version that you're using shared support symbols and just make sure that the file is actually stored within this structure it just makes it easier if you're working going forward because uh, this is where it looks for the files so in this particular case, the, the file is obviously stored under there. Uh, we've obviously given it a sample name. Uh, you can name it however you wish. Now this, this source file that we're looking at here is, uh, it is a 3D solid. So that is important as well. Uh, the, the elements do need to be 3D solids. They can't be surfaces. So make sure that they, they are those. This, this particular element came from a manufacturer's site. I downloaded it. As, as a sample file just to test the the process here um, so the other important thing to, to know is the, the the origin in the model so so obviously we we have the the world coordinate system uh, I'm just going to untick that and this is actually the origin in the model so this is the the, the zero zero point if we, we click on this node here you can just see down in the system tray the zero zero point and I, I drew a couple of extra lines just to 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 represent what was going on here, so uh, so you can see that. Now, one of the things I would do is obviously move that back to this origin first of all, um, and also I would probably simplify the part a little bit. I mean, for the purposes of what I'm doing in advanced steel, I probably don't need to see all this detail. And similarly, I would this is two separate parts, so I would probably union these together. So this is a, an AutoCAD command can be accessed through the 3D uh, workspace if you so wish to change the workspace but uh, because I've only got one part to do I know what the command is so I'm just using that and basically I'm making that into one piece you, you may choose to, to to simplify the shape a little bit more you don't have to have all the filleted edges on here uh, I would recommend if you do have a lot of filleted edges that you do simplify the shape slightly uh, there is a slight limitation in in the core system that uh, sort of slows the model down a little bit um, so the other important thing to do is obviously to move this back to the origin um, because that is becoming the insert point when you're actually working in advanced steel. So we can just uh, pick the object up and select it and just use a right click shortcut menu, pick a base point there and we can put it down obviously back here at where we know is the coordinate system, the world coordinate system. Uh, obviously, the the part is needs to be orientated, and I've, I've found working with the glass, it's it's probably best to orientate it in the x direction for the jaws. So the jaws of the clamp need to be aligned along the x axis, so they line up with the infill panel uh, in in the railing macro itself. So that's that's, that's quite easy to do. I'm, I'm just going to use this this command. This is the command I tend to tend to use is the, the 3D ro rotate command. Just going to use that command so sorry 3d rotate uh, select the object uh, pick the base point move it to there pick the axis so I'm going to pick the horizontal axis here type in an angle and just rotate that round so that sort of looks okay so that is actually obviously at, at the origin so let me just uh, move the UCI icon back there so we can see that's now actually at the origin it looks fine and obviously you could clean the file up a little bit so you didn't have all these lines in it and you would probably save it now and go in and add it to this great tech special part manager which we'll come on to in a, in, a, in a second video but just just for your information one of the things i did know is that when i when i was actually doing this you know to actually get this part to come in here within the within the joint i found that when i was actually in the process of doing this it sometimes came in offset and i'd, I'd gone back and obviously checked my main part uh, you know my main source file and made sure that it was in in, in the right place but this this part was coming off offset in, in, into space and um, I did a little bit of research I asked a couple of colleagues and 
we also we, we came up with the fact that uh, sometimes when you're doing this these parts are offset and it's, it's actually a, an AutoCAD system variable that, that may be being used by the um, the source manufacturer they may have used that now when we obviously started in this file we noticed that this um, this part was off off over here and so let's just type this in this command so look for remember this command in space and if you actually look at that you can you can see that uh, in, in the dynamic menu and also down the command line there's some 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 coordinates there and, and they are actually the the core internal coordinates for the insert point so when you go to insert and, and if i actually click on this line and just just hover over here on the end you can actually see that those those points actually tie up with where it was positioned in the model so although we've moved it back i found that uh, if I didn't go in and change this system variable back to zero for all three coordinates, when I actually inserted it into a model, it was offsetting it. So this is obviously the glass clamp now. I've changed that to, to zero. So I'll just type that in again so you can just see that again. So it's obviously you can see at the command line and obviously in the dynamic menu it's set to zero. So this means that when you, you're in the main macro itself, if you're actually um, accessing the properties of the macro, so we're coming to the joint properties again, we can now change that part to, uh, obviously I created a second part, I've added it to the Great Tech Special Part Manager and it's linking into the railing macro and this obviously its position is being changed so it just takes a, a few moments for me to pull up the dialog so if we come under connections just come under the type here so i'm just going to change to this this bottom one here and we can see now that the parts have aligned and with the holes obviously in the posts and uh, I actually in the file I left I left the lines in place so you could see the orientation the x and the y and the z of what was happening with the part that, that was for my second video that I'm doing later on but so just watch out for that when you're when you're doing doing this um, it's a little known command but it can affect it we've we found when creating the special part so the, the only other thing obviously you may uh, you may choose to uh, create a layer and, and set a color so you, you can obviously use AutoCAD here and uh, obviously add a new a new layer in so if you want or change the color or so sometimes people want to put them on a, on a separate layer so um, and obviously change the, change the color so this, this is how it's influencing the color that you were seeing in the model it was actually setting it under here so although in uh, in advance still it, it brings it in under the special part layer the, the color is actually being influenced by this so you may choose to do that if you want and then obviously you may choose to, to clean the file up as well afterwards so just deleting lines etc so you can just take the lines out if you want don't want them in the file obviously i'll take that one out so anything you don't want just just clean it out of the file uh, before you save the file and then obviously save the file close the file and that, that's the first step is actually to create a 3d solid part that you're actually going to then link to the special part manager which we'll come on to in in in, in the second video, video in this series so thanks very much for watching that great tech